In our national lead today, on this Memorial Day, President Biden and Vice President Harris paid their respects at the tomb of the unknown soldier. But not everyone can honor the fallen in person. Last year, D.C. resident Emily Dominic tweeted an offer to visit grave sites at Arlington National Cemetery on behalf of friends and family who couldn't travel due to the pandemic. Well, she expected a few to reach out. She ended up visiting 60 headstones. And this year, she has help. Ryan Mannion and her foundation teamed up with Emily to create the Honor Project. And Ryan Mannion joins us now. She's a Gold Star sister and president of the Travis Mannion Foundation, which empowers veterans and families of fallen veterans uh, to develop character in future generations. Thank you so much for joining us. And I'm so sorry about the loss of your brother. Thank you. Thanks for having me here today. But you have obviously used his leg legacy in such a powerful way. Um, he lives on in your foundation, Ryan. Travis was killed in Iraq in 2007 while saving the lives of his fellow Marines. Before his final deployment, he said, quote, if not me, then who? That just gives me chills. How has that mantra defined your purpose? Really for us as a family after Travis was killed, we took those five words that he spoke before leaving for that deployment to Iraq and we use them to fuel us to continue his legacy. You know, it's important for us as Americans to understand the service and the sacrifice of these men and women who have given their all. And so we committed that day that his life was lost to make sure that his legacy and the legacy of all of these men and women continued on. And you are doing that every day, not just on Memorial Day, it's every day. The Honor Project, co-founded by the Travis Mannion Foundation, recruited over 300 volunteers this year. How many veterans have you been able to honor through this project so far, Ryan? So I actually got in my car from Arlington Cemetery and drove here to the studio um, where we have paid uh, visits to over 4,000 grave sites. Amazing. We had 300 volunteers throughout the weekend that stopped by and paid their respects to 4,000 men and women who have given their lives in service. That is incredible. In 2016, you had told my colleague Jake Tapper that your mission was to empower people to be servant leaders in their own backyard. How has that mission evolved over the last year during the pandemic? Gosh, I feel like that's still what I say, and it's true. You know, for us, we can look no further than our men and women that serve and sacrifice for inspiration of how we can live our lives. And this last year has been so tough with the pandemic, with being isolated. And so we wanted to make sure that we were giving people the opportunity to go out and serve. Memorial Day was approaching, and we knew we wanted to make sure how can they get out there and honor these sacrifices. And so we put out the call, and, and to say we had 300 volunteers, we cut it off at 300 volunteers. We would have had thousands. Wow. We just didn't really? have the manpower this year to facilitate it. So the hope is that next year we can continue this initiative and grow it to veteran cemeteries across the country. And the goal is that in years to come, thousands and thousands of individuals can come out over Memorial Day weekend and pay honor to, to the sacrifice of our fallen. I was, I actually, a, a friend of mine had died in Iraq and his sister told me today that his old buddy who served with him back in 2005 traveled miles and miles and miles just to visit the gravesite. And it really can make a difference. It makes a difference to do that, to pay their respects. And it also shows just the incredible bond that these service members had together. You've reminded us it's important to remember those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. On this day, is there anything viewers at home can do to help support the Travis Mannion Foundation? I think beyond just supporting the Travis Manning Foundation, what I would want all Americans to know is that this weekend is a weekend where the men and women who gave their lives for our freedom, they want us to enjoy it. They want us to enjoy the freedoms that we have. But don't leave this weekend without taking a few minutes to honor those sacrifices, to learn a story and to share it with others. Because Gold Star families want nothing more than to know that their loved one's service is not forgotten. Is there anything else you would like to add on this Memorial Day as we wrap up this segment that people should know and think about? Maybe they didn't understand about military members and, and their service if, uh, for the families, too. Yeah, I mean, I, I spent all morning at Arlington uh, National Cemetery this morning, and the strength of our families of the fallen is something that should not go unnoticed. Mm -hmm. These men and women have given their husbands, their wives, their children in service to this country. 
and they go on to lead with strength and honor and dignity. And I feel so blessed to be a part of a community of people that are so incredibly strong. And it was a beautiful morning spending it there with uh, these men and women at Arlington. And that was beautifully said, that the families are such an inspiration. You are an inspiration, Ryan. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. President of the Travis Mannion Foundation, Ryan Mannion, we really appreciate you spending some time with us on this Memorial Day. Thank you so much. And I'm Pamela Brown in for Jake Tapper for this special edition of The Lead. Our coverage continues now with The Situation Room.